you had a chat with uh, number 94 today. I did. And uh, yeah. potentially broke a little bit of news here unintentionally. <laughs> yeah. I've been doing some some fun things uh, with uh, with some of the players who have been paying attention to our social media channels. You've seen some of them. Just trying to do some offbeat questions. And one of them is very standard. What's this backstory of your number? Did you pick it? Did they give it to you? Blah, blah, blah. A story you've heard a thousand times with hockey players, right? Well, I asked Corey Perry. I said, hey, you know, you've, you've had 94 before. Is there any, you know, story behind keeping it here in Chicago? And uh, this is what Mr. Perry had to say. Um, well, I wore it in junior. Okay. And, uh, and then, you know, obviously 10. Can't, can't wear 10 here. So, uh, um, didn't, want to, didn't want to try and uh, I get didn't Sharpie even, at dinner or anything? I didn't even <laughs> ask. It. I was told no right away. Oh, okay. like, I didn't even ask, actually. They just said, you can't wear 10. Okay. What number do you want? So, um, you know, after that, I, I just said 94 right away. I, was like, I wore 94 in Montreal. And, uh, you know, that, that's, it's, nice. it's something that uh, I, can, I can keep wearing. They told me you can't wear 10. What number do you want? It's interesting. Interesting. Coming from a team where numbers and number retirements and all that discourse has been uh, bountiful leading into the preseason. Very interesting that Corey Perry was told you cannot wear number 10. What other number do you want? I mean, official. They are going to retire it for Jeff Lemmer. Uh, <laughs> you said retire for Larmer, right? Yeah, yeah, it's right. Not it's one. done. <laughs> um, I, I'm sorry. I if it's maybe, not retired, maybe I'm wear it. maybe I'm unpopular here, but number ten is not retirement worthy. It's not. I agree it's with not. you. It's not. It's. I agree with you. It's not. I'm sorry. It's. Look, if you start retiring every number of every hawk that won Stanley Cups here in the 2010s, you're going to have very few numbers left. You take you take seven of them off the board, because seven guys were here for all three. That's too many. Uh, and I also believe the more you retire, the less value retirement has. That should be reserved for the elite elite. And I do believe Chelio slash Seabrook deserves it. Keith deserves it. Kane and Taves deserve it. I was a look. No one loves Marion Hosa like I do. I was a little surprised when they retired his number. It opened the door. It opened a door for a lot of people. It, it, it opened the door. Look, a number of great Blackhawks have worn number 10. Maybe it will be some sort of, like we're expecting with Seabrook and Chelios in number seven, maybe it'll be a joint honoring of guys like Patrick Sharp, Tony Monty, Dennis Hall. Like, maybe Reg, it goes that way. Reg Kerr. Um, I, I just, I just don't know if, if having a bunch of good ones makes right. I, I mean, you would hope in your long hundred year history that every number would have been worn by a, a bunch of really good players. Yes, if twenty seven and twenty eight are being worn by current Blackhawks or Blackhawks prospects, ten should absolutely be available. I wonder if it was. Uh, if they're thinking like, yeah, you're only going to be here for a year, maybe we like save that. And if, yeah. if Oliver Moore comes and says, I want to wear number 10, we'll give it to him. Sure. Or Frank Nazar. Sure. One of those guys. Maybe they're saving that for that makes one sense. of the young kids where they're just like, eh, let's not do that. Or, or maybe they were just, I don't know. I kind I don't care about that stuff. Really? I mean, there are some numbers where like 28 is in 27 are numbers that should be retired first before 10. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if I would have loved to seen the reaction of Blackhawk fans on social media if Corey Perry came out wearing number 10. Oh, people would be pissed I would have about loved it. every second of it. Yeah. yeah. But sure. we didn't get that. So, um, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, my... It could just be a... Sorry. It could just be also like, let's give it a few years before we let somebody wear it. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, if we're going to give it to somebody, we're going to give it to a cornerstone prospect. Right. A guy that that's going to be here for a long time. That could be as well. We're, yeah. We're not going to tie Jones it like they did to 27. Yeah. Jerks. Yeah. Boy, they pooed that one up. Oof. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I think if it's, if it's, if it's not, if it's like that, where it's just like, ah, we're just let, let let's let that number be something, something special for a, a different player. Yeah. That's one thing. But if it's, if it's something more than that, I think it, it makes a very interesting conversation for guys like Sharp, 
Like Jalmerson. Like Crawford. Like, I don't know. I do. Re- I if, retire if, four before ten. If you open up, uh, I retire fifty before ten. That that's yeah, fifty before ten for sure. Because no one else is ever going to wear number fifty. Yeah. No, it'd, be, it'd probably be a goalie if anybody. Right. And but you're, you're not, not gonna. To yeah, you're not gonna be. Able, you would shouldn't be able to do you're, that. You're not gonna give Mitchell Weeks number fifty when he makes his NHL debut. Nah. Coming a, soon to an August 2024 podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we have actual <laughs> hockey and stuff to talk yeah. about now, but. Uh, yeah, let's say maybe they maybe they want to keep number ten instead of retiring numbers. You know, I know like I know in soccer like certain numbers are meant for certain sure, things. Yeah. So maybe they want to be like, that's going to be a number we're going to reserve. That for, would be, that for, would be fun yeah. if they did that. We're like we're going to reserve ten for somebody who's going to be here for more than one season, who's going yes. to be a, who's going to be a country like so any one of these. Top prospect comes in. You know, Gavin Hayes is wearing 78. Maybe he wants to be number 10 when he gets there. Get, save it for him. Mm-hmm. Or or Frank Nazar. Is Nazar... Nazar 22. Okay. Which I think he wants to keep, but we'll see. Yeah. I, well, so, I mean, you can't disrespect Nikita Zaitsev. Christian Rutu. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Tutu. Jordan Tutu. Yeah. The list goes on and on. Yeah, I, I think it would be fun if they had numbers mean something. Yeah. Like, 27 is given to one of your skill players that's, yeah. you know, fun to, to root for. 28 is given to a guy who's, you know, kind of red-assy on, on, on the ice. Number four is your best defenseman or whatever. Yeah. Like, I, I would be – that would be fun if they yeah. did shit like that. That'd Stuff cool. like that. Sorry. Jeez. Come on, Mario. It's, it's the afternoon on a, on a Tuesday. Jeez. <sighs> Region Don't Rev says, I don't uh, think anybody mistook us for Coco Melon. You're ah. <laughs> Region Rev says, Surprised, Jay, you didn't think hostess should get retired or that it surprised you. I, I, didn't, I don't think it shouldn't be. All I know is when they retired that number, my eyebrows went up saying, Okay, this opens the door for a lot of people. Yeah. That, that's it. I, I'm not saying he's unworthy of it, but I just, I was, I will say this too. I was a little surprised he was the first. I thought they could have maybe waited until Keith or Kane and Taves get theirs, and then Hosa. Maybe it doesn't matter. They were all still playing, though. Yes. Yeah. So, fine. Whatever. But I, I just, the, the whole thing with me was, okay, if they're retiring Hosa, then a bunch of different people have arguments. Yeah. And that's why they reportedly came up with that new system for determining jersey retirement Guidelines. worthiness. Yeah. Guidelines. Helps us program that show next August. <laughs> 